Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Um, <laughs> I don't think I could think of anything more exciting uh, for me to do with all the fun little things that I know than to bring them together in this way. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is a Holy Spirit protected tarot reading. Um, the reason that I'm doing this is because I myself grew up Baptist, um, incredibly conservative, and I'm so grateful for that foundation now. And later in life, I built on that Baptist foundation uh, with a lot of other kinds of things, tarot being one of them. And so what I decided to do is to just bring them together. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to upset anyone um, by disgracing either practice by fusing them. My intention is to open up the experience of Christians to other kinds of tools for your journey. Um, I don't really care if you like tarot or use it. To me, it isn't very, um, you know, sacred in any sense, but um, I love this formula. I'm from Indiana, so I grew up playing cards. It makes sense to me. It, just works for me personally um, and is a way that I can very easily use the guidance of the Holy Spirit in, in a tangible practical way or that I can access it in a tangible and practical way so I thought that this would be really good to bring these things together and I just kind of want to explain what I'm doing before I do it and then we're gonna do it and maybe we'll talk about it when we're done <laughs> um, but all in all my goal intention for this entirely is to just simply open up you to more possibilities um more tools that maybe you didn't have before um options for where to go in your path maybe some roads you could take that you didn't see for yourself and to give you more possibilities um or of course i can't give you those to open you up to the ones that you already know um you have so now that we all know what's going on, we're going to get started. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's going to happen because it's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we'll all find out together. Um, but I am going to do a little prayer um, really quick right beforehand. Um, I am going to completely um, protect this space with um, by praying with the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and also, so all my Christian friends know I don't have any cr crystals on this table. Um, it was really important to me actually to get those out of this just because I know a lot of you are uncomfortable stepping out of your faith at all. I didn't want to have you do tarot and crystals at the same time. We'll put crystals on the back burner for now. We're just going to be using cards. Um, what I want any Christians watching this to keep in mind is that if your theology, um, <laughs> if your theology would tell you that cards are dangerous and will lead you down a bad road, um, you need to reassess what you believe to be true about God, the Holy Spirit, yourself, and all of life. Because you're actually not living in any way in alignment with what you say you believe. Um, if you have a paradigm of Jesus and the devil, um, if you have a paradigm of good and evil, right and wrong, there is no force of evil or good or right and wrong that could possibly take hold of a card deck. <laughs> Okay, um, it's just me using them and wielding them. So really all it comes down to is whether or not I'm a trustworthy person using them, which you should take your time to assess for yourself. Um, okay, so let's pray. <laughs> Holy Spirit, person of peace and my best friend throughout my days. Would you please flood the hearts, minds, and bodies of everyone listening with your perfect peace and your liquid love? Please connect to my Christian friends in the most vibrant way that they could conceive of. Please clear their minds in ways that they maybe didn't previously think possible. Help them see their own ability to do all these things for themselves as well. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your companionship. I'm so grateful for your companionship. Please protect this space 
from whatever. All right. And please, Holy Spirit, be the loudest voice in everyone's mind right now and throughout this reading. I trust you to be the truest source of guidance for everyone listening to bring them into the fullness of themselves. And above all else, I pray the same that Jesus has prayed that you would help us see that we are one as you are one with the Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Have fun. Okay. So let's see where we're at in Genera. Start here. So I'm going to start with this deck. And all the tarot does, I'm going to teach you about it as I do it. Um, my, or I guess my favorite way to describe tarot in the way that I do it, <laughs> or my intention, is to reveal what's hidden. Tarot is here to reveal what's hidden. It's probably why it's my favorite tool because, well, I just like it because it's shiny. <laughs> I'm not even going to go deep with that. So what I'm doing is getting one card for just our overall energy, and I'm going to get some cards to clarify, kind of see where we're at. Um, what I'm trusting is happening with these cards is that the Holy Spirit is guiding each movement um, and creating an outcome that will be the, the greatest help for the most number of people watching. Um, when you're reading or when you're listening to a reading um, like this that's for a lot of people, not just for one person, it's really important to keep in mind that not every single thing that I say is going to be specifically necessarily for you. It's important to just keep an open mind and close off what isn't. Um, I don't know if people do that enough while listening to tarot videos to be able to just say that right there wasn't it information for me. It's important to have that boundary up. It's important to be able to do that, to be able to listen to a whole reading but close yourself off to parts of it. It'll also help you grow in your discernment, so do that as well. You'll notice I shuffle different decks in different ways. <laughs> um, there are a few reasons for that. <laughs> Some of them are honestly just the shape of the cards. Um, you'll notice that I pick all the cards differently as well. <laughs> It's a Holy Spirit reading, and it's already more chaotic than the other ones I've done, so I know. <laughs> We're on to something. I'm here for the Christians. I'm doing it for you all. Okay, so where you're at overall right now, honestly, it sort of feels almost as if you've got, like, your eyes looking down at the path in front of you, and if you would just lift your eyes, you'd see this really vibrant horizon. There's this focus on what's negative and dark and de feeling defeated in you. There's a feeling of defeatedness, specifically. Or I should say, if you find yourself in a space of feeling this defeatedness, what will help is for you to see yourself as more capable. Your capabilities are very important right now. And the way that you're able to wield them to create the life that you want. You've got this flying card here and it does for some reason feel a bit blocked to me. Just because I have this positive card here doesn't mean that this is the energy we're in. Something that's really important for you to know. If you have a tarot reader who just reads positive things out of positive cards and negative things out of negative cards, you might want to take a step back and ask yourself if you and or that reader really has a proper understanding of good, bad, bright, and wrong, light, and dark. Um, okay. So we've got this one right here. It does feel really whimsical, like this is your possibility, like I said, but there's a defeatedness that you're feeling and it has to do with your lack of showing up for yourself here. You've got this um, Father of Swords, this very b vibrant, strong energy that's creative, but decisive. And there's some indecision here that I'm sensing. Hmm. And it's because you're wearing your masks. 
it's because you're not, um, I don't want to say it that way. It's because, so this is actually a great thing. A, a great thing that you've done is you've picked up this way of being where you can kind of feel into these new spaces and, and create, um, new ways of being for yourself. But there's a sense where it's all masks, where you're like, yeah, maybe I've created this life that I want or this experience that I want, or I'm in this situation that's beneficial, but I'm still wearing these masks. It's sort of like this idea that it's like, you're at Disneyland world, you're in Disneyland. Like, no, I don't wanna say that. Um, I just love metaphors. I want to come up with a more helpful one. Maybe I could just try to speak literally. How about that? <laughs> okay. So what could we literally say about this and how it would help them live more vibrantly? Okay. So you want to look into when am I wearing what masks? This is a timing issue. This is the timing issue of there are moments where you take your mask off and you just are. And then there are moments where you perform and that that's okay. And what's happened is that in your, your attempted rejection of performing, of pretending I have to be authentic, you're fighting so hard to be this authentic, but the authentic version of you is the mask. So the you you're attempting to be, or I guess you could say the you that's expressed in its authenticity as, it, as you are perceiving it to be, that in itself isn't authentic. So that's what we're missing here is, um, <laughs> there was this one tweet by John Mayer ages ago, I never forgot it, it's so hilarious. He said, ah, oh, New York City, all the young people being different in the exact same way. <laughs> being completely different in the exact same way and it stuck with me it was so funny i never forgot it because it's like it's such a poignant commentary like you know all, all the ways that we feel we need to rebel a lot of the things we need to do to challenge and, and create authenticity are themselves fabrications are themselves performances and so what we're doing now is we're going to take a look at all the different parts of our lives and just see, okay, where is this mask? Because I'm actually in a really great space. I've healed a lot. I've, I have cried tears. I have done this, that, and the third. And if you're in this space, this is who you are. You're in a very vibrant energy, but it's blocked by your indecision, your lack of integrity, and your, your desire to keep every option open. You don't get to do that. You don't get to have every available option. In order to have what you want, you do have to say no to certain things. You absolutely have to slice and say, no, cut this off. I don't want it. And this is what you need to develop right now. You need to develop your no, and you need to get very clear on your yes. Because if you're in a space where you're enjoying a lot, but you're, or where you're doing well, but you're not really enjoying a lot, ask yourself what wellness looks like to you. Am I really being honest with myself here? And on the other side of that, you've got insight. You've got wisdom coming. You've got a new way of seeing, a new way of thinking. If you work with the chakra system, um, you can think of it as a crown chakra opening. If you're brand new to that and that doesn't mean anything to you, ignore it. It doesn't matter. All it means is your what the Christians would call divine wisdom, insight wisdom. This is perfect. This would be if I were to connect the chakra system to Christianity, your crown chakra is what allows you to hear from the Holy Spirit. That is what that is. So this, for you to be in this space right now where you're making these decisions, you're strengthening your ability to see clearly, to say yes to what you want and no to what you don't want and get that out of your life. You're developing your ability to know what actually is authentic to me. What have I just adopted as authentic because I'm told it was authentic as opposed to actually living from what feels and is authentic from my being. You see the difference there? So as you move through this, as you get clear, as you use the sort of your 
truth of what you know to be true to continue to slice through all of your masks, all the charades, okay? And it's okay because they're fun charades and they're super great. You don't need to get rid of them. You just need to have them to your side to use at different times, but to know when you're in which one. The clarity is what you need here. When am I in which energy? None of them are bad. Look at these masks. They're fucking gorgeous. Oh, sorry, Christians. <laughs> I'm going to try to not swear for you, but I was a bartender for five years, so <laughs> give me time to purge. Um, <laughs> swearing from my vocabulary, or I don't know, maybe I will. I haven't decided yet. I'm going back and forth. Um, but I just decided that I'll start. We'll figure it out together. Um, so this is the outcome. This is what you have. I'm so excited for you. Proud of you. I trust you with you and you completely got this. Um, this was so much more fun and free flowing than any other reading I've probably ever done. Um, so that's really fun. I hope this was helpful in any way, in any way, or at least fun for you to watch me bounce and bumble all around. <laughs> um, I want more than anything to equip other people to hear for themselves. Um, see for themselves, live for themselves. If you're going to be living in a Christian paradigm, the best thing you can do for yourself is to attune yourself to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's the best thing that you can do if you're working with the Christian paradigm. So that's my focus is helping Christians connect with the Holy Spirit because that's going to be the best way for Christians to live their most abundant life. I, that's what I believe. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I'm having so much fun doing it and I'm grateful for anyone here with me. Um, I'm grateful for anyone who has any feedback or criticisms. I'll learn from what I need to learn from and just laugh at what I laugh at. Um, and I'm grateful for it all. So rock on. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining me in this. I trust you with you. That's it. Okay. Yes and amen.